Come on, Rick. It's an unbox, not an unboxing, it's an unwrapping today. This box has been opened already, you say. Yes, it has. Last week we unboxed from Media Unboss this cool tungsten spinning top. And check out this really cool titanium and this really cool aerospace grade um, aluminum spinning top base. So that was last week, came out of this. Now it's time to reopen the box. And what's the second half of this little treat or surprise? It's a haptic coin made out of Zerkutai. It's got 12, um, 12 magnets inside. It's about an inch and a half in diameter. Enough with the details, Dave. Let's start to talk about Zerkutai. What is it? It's an exotic metal. Let's start opening this. I'm pumped to see it, so no more talking. I'm going right in. Woo. Oh yeah. Okay, that, that looks cool. Nice. Okay, so what the HWTH is Zerkutai? So let me tell you a little bit about Zerkutai. We've got titanium, right? Can look like this. From titanium, you can take different grades of titanium, maybe some other metals, and then make something called Mokutai, which looks like this, which I've done an unboxing before. But what if you take titanium here and add zirconium, which can look like this or this, and then do the whole process of, so zirconium and titanium, layered, forged, heat treated, manipulated, then what do you get? Instead of getting mokutai, you get zirkutai. Why am I pumped about zirkutai? Is it for its strength, durability, the fact that it's lightweight, corrosion resistant, or hypoallergenic? Meh, maybe. No, why am I pumped about zirkutai? Because it's sexy. So let me, I'm gonna put my glasses on, get my eyes on this. Come on in and let's take a look. All right, so you're wondering, how much was this mamma jamma? 75 US, which is 100 Canadian, about 2700 Thai baht, 550 RMB. Normally something like this would cost more, but Media Boss consistently has auctions on their Facebook page. And so that was the price after all the auction fees and shipping and everything. Really good deal. This is my first time looking at Zerkutai in person and I'm pumped. Okay, cool. So it's a bit of a muggy day today, so it makes the lighting a little bit harder, but you can kind of get this crimson, purple, almost aqua, teal, some light sort of rust colors. Amazing. And what the zirconium does versus mokutai is gets you these kind of darker hues of darker purples or blacks or browns. Um, generally speaking, blacks. This has a bit of reflectivity to it. And I am pretty pumped. Of course, you'll see various patterns of zirkutai. Um, and, you know, different processes will yield different, you could say, almost qualities of Zerkutai. Uh, again, at this price point, this piece, to me, is beautiful. So, turn this over. Here we see the magnets. This is my first time working with a sort of a, not a ratchet coin, a haptic coin of, of this type, of this type of construction. Usually I'm used to having sort of a gear or mechanism in the middle. I'm not sure how the feeling is going to be on it, but I'm looking forward basically what they said is is that you can kind of move it around you can sort of click and move it kind of in any direction it's a little bit different than what i'm used to because it's not really fixated in place let's get her on the scale and then take some more plays all right so just under 50 grams 49.35 we're looking at one and two thirds of an ounce what we'll go ahead and do is get rid, I'll give you one last up close look, and then we will get rid of the zoom and kind of take some more play time with this piece. It's a different format than what I'm used to. 
See you sec. In a sabugazabaja. Come on, Rick. I figured out the premise of this type of piece, I believe. So it's incorporating, it's kind of the action or the idea of a few different other fidget toys. So let's first look at some things that we've unboxed or opened before. These are kind of ratchet or haptic coins, donuts, etc. The idea being you have two pieces and you're kind of moving, right? Clicking and moving around in a circular motion. Then we have things like this, which is a fidget slider, which may or may not be on a track, so free floating or not. But in essence, you're moving up, down, left, right, and it's very smooth, right? It's flat plates. And with this piece, you're taking two or three concepts and kind of putting them together. The first one is something just called a worry coin. So people collect plain coins made out of metals, exotic metals, etc. They have it in their pocket and they find it very soothing just to have something to kind of go like this, right? Ah, relaxing. So you've got the idea of actually having two worry coins for the price of one. But you've also got some mechanics of the magnets where you can kind of move things around more almost of this type, which is the notion of a free slide, right? Because you have these ridges, which you'll see here, you get a bit of both. You get, if you're playing gently with it, it will slide up and down over the ridge the same way you would do with a free floating piece. But if you're like me and you like to kind of push into these things, then you sort of can line it up and then you get this very consistent motion almost the way you would with a ratchet coin or a haptic coin. You also have is this for people that like clicker toys, clicking sort of fidget toys, you get this very satisfying click. And for those that, like me, might find a worry coin a bit boring, I think this is a good foray into that kind of area because instead of just going like this, I kind of have the ability to just have a little bit more activity with my hands. Is this going to be something I buy various different models of this type of unit? Probably not. But what's the overall? Give me the verdict. Verdict is... I love Median Boss, amazing auction, amazing vendor. The piece looks beautiful. It's my first time seeing, seeing Zirkutai. I love Zirkutai. And now that we've got some sun coming, oh my God, beautiful. I think this will get some time, uh, some play time. It's good for me to have the experience of kind of getting a sense of what it's like to fidget with these worry coins. And also to get a sense of this sort of dual of a freeform slider, but you almost have a bit of a track slider momentum in it. The choice is yours. Come on, Rick, hit the subscribe down there. I'm going to review, wait till you see my, I'm going to test drive some DeWalt safety glasses. I've got this crazy fan that simulates outside wind. I've got a thing that puts, I don't know, I got all kinds of stuff. Come subscribe, watch more videos.